Oh boy. I can't believe that they are such suckers in this cooking competition because I mean, what could be easier than just going to buy some of your own food? I mean, aren't they gonna believe that I can make rice? I mean, look at me. Look at this, look at that, right? <laughs> so I cannot wait to see them when I unwrap the, or unwrap the most beautiful bowl. With so, wait a minute. What? Well, someone missed in my bag. I got, what? I'm not for any of this. What, I, maple syrup, baking soda. Who gets, uh, oh well, yeah, I guess I'll make some chocolate chip cookies. All right, just kidding. We are going to be making some gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. Um, because it's gotta be gluten free because if you're like Mr. Adams, I know everyone wants to be, sometimes you just, you need the body of a God, but it doesn't come without commitment. Okay. And that doesn't, that includes our desserts. So to begin with our chocolate chip cookies, it's really, really easy. You'll need a few ingredients. Okay. Number one is cashew butter, or almond butter. Ooh, we'll get out of here. Okay. Now we have our chocolate chips, our morsels. You'll need some almond flour, some baking soda. This is really good to have um, just around because sometimes you live with stinky people and you just put it in a cup and it makes the world just a little bit fresher and a lot less sad. Um, next, you need some eggs. And finally, you need some syrup. Make sure that you have your mixers, your bowls, your cups. You measure yourself all ready to go. And... We need the safety crew on hand at all time. My sous chef, Mr. Flynn. All right, so now I give you all, almost all of your ingredients. I forgot to say, um, make sure to get vanilla extract, okay? And while we're getting this, while you're getting all this set up, pro tip, go and start preheating your oven. So that while you're mixing all of this together, by the time you're ready to go and put things in the oven, so we're gonna be ready for you. You gotta think harder, okay? Now, I'm not gonna give you the full breakdown of everything that you need, um, but I'm gonna make sure to post the, the ingredients and the list uh, on the uh, description of the video. And once you put it all in here, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look like a bunch of goop, okay? Then, you're gonna take your big fork and you're gonna mix it. Let's do it. Okay, so you just mixed your big ingredient. It's going to look like the saddest peanut butter oatmeal raisin thing ever, but that's okay because you're going to stick it in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes. And while that's happening, I forgot to tell you, make sure you preheat your oven to 325 degrees. It's going to take a little bit to get to that temperature and make sure if you're cooking, make sure there's an adult present just to be on the safe side. Okay. And lastly, while you're preparing all this stuff, you're going to take a regular tray and you're going to line it with parchment paper. That's going to be really important when we're peeling up the awesome goodly goodness of these baked cookies. All right, so we've got our cookies out of the fridge. My wife is over there working on some super important stuff and my sous chef is taking his mandatory 18 hour break. Okay, now we get to the final step between us and our beloved cookies. Okay, you're going to take, after it's all nice and chilled, you're going to take this one tablespoon, okay? It's called a tablespoon because it holds a tablespoon. It's crazy, okay? You're going to scoop and make into a ball and then put it on the pan. It's super easy. And then you're gonna bake uh, probably about 15 minutes. Make sure to keep your eye on it. Watch the bottom edges of the cookies to make sure they brown out just right. Okay, now we've taken our one tablespoon little spoon, made little balls out of it. These are perfectly formed. So now we're taking these to the oven. Again, it's 325 degrees for, four, for 10 to 15 minutes. Whew, it's hot oven. Here we go, it's good. Oh, see? Make sure it's, it's sealed so you get all the goodness in there. And there's my wife and my dog. All right, so now that it's all said and done, we've done all of this work, 
you get to see some epic healthy cookie goodness. Now, after you're finished, the most important part is clearly what you pair it with, and that is some delicious milk. Milk and cookies. And, of course, to complete it, you're probably wondering what I was listening to or what I like to listen to this week while I was kind of preparing this meal. And that is definitely King of Wishful Thinking by Go West. Have a happy week, and I'll see you next time.